Hey Lauren, so I just watched your video and I um, really liked your perspective on things. Um, so I really liked how you were organized throughout your video. It was very easy to follow. So um, you went ahead and started talking about thinking goal and her thinking goal number one was, you know, blame of the relationship. So she was kind of um, the reason for um, the breakup and everything like that, even though she doesn't really know what she did. Um, thing goal number two was being alone. So um, she has just, she just needs to realize that she would be happy um, being alone. Um, you know, if that's how it's supposed to work out or things like that, she just has to find new ways to, um, know that she's happy being alone. Um, I like how you said that she would have more time to focus on herself and to maybe get new hobbies and just really figure out things that she likes. I think that's, um, really a big part of being alone, especially if, you know, she feels like that she's the one, um, if she's taking the blame for the relationship or things like that. So, Finding a hobby, you know, just finding confidence in yourself and things like that is really important. So, I liked how you said, you know, she would have more time to focus on herself. Um, thing goal number three, which she said this a lot throughout the video, and I know everybody else has said that in their videos, is she said it a lot, letting him go. She's just got to, uh, you know, letting him go. Um, but... I liked how, you know, you said, well, first, before I get there, so letting them go, so she just needs to focus on, focus on herself to make herself happy, find a hobby, things like that, that I was just talking about, and then one of the things that you said is don't focus on letting him go, you know, focus on some of those other things, and then eventually, he'll, or whoever, whatever the relationship is, it will be, you know, gone, because you're distracted with other things you're finding um happiness in other things and things like um things that you're enjoying are fulfilling you so you're not really thinking about letting him go you know so after all your thinking goals you went to your behavior goals um so one of the behavior goals was meeting new people which could really help um with you know finding a hobby or things like that. She can make new friends, maybe join a reading club, things like that, um, and just not isolating herself. This way, she has more people, um, more support from people, um, and it's always just a good distraction to talk to people, not about your problems, um, but just, I mean, it helps sometimes, but just like, just talk to them in general about anything, you know, just what do you like to do? Well, I like to do that too. Let's go do that together. And just building that um, friendship, relationship, whatever it is, um, just so you're not alone and you're not thinking about all the things that, all the unknown things that have led you to counseling and things like that. Um, another behavior goal is continuing um, going to her sessions, which you said that, and it seems to, um, be supporting her and helping her, so, um, that's really good. Um, so, kind of like one of the last things you were talking about is, you know, how you teach middle school and how middle schoolers are working on goals and goal settings and things like that, which I think, well, I know at the school I teach at, which is primary school, we're working on goal settings all throughout the year, whether it's, you know, write your name, learn how to tie your shoe, things like that. But I like how you're talking about how, you know, middle schoolers can make up their own goals. It's kind of hard for some of the primary students to make up their own goals. But by middle school, those um, students are able to make up their own goals. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, they can make up their own goals um, to help them with the, what they need to succeed in and what they need to do in order to be successful with that goal that they have set for themselves. So as a counselor and a teacher, all we really need to do is reaffirm students. And I think you even said that too, which I really like that. We just have to reaffirm students that 
their goal is their goal and um I mean, all you have to do is try and work it out. I'm not going to tell you, tell the student that that's not going to work. Um, so we just have to stay positive and build that relationship with the students so that they feel confident in talking to us and just reaffirm that their goal is their goal. And it might take time to reach that goal, but to reach the end goal, but it's just important to have the goal in mind and in place.